Hello there, boys and girls. Right, this is my first go at trying to um, program um, something via I is it ISP using the it's, using the Olimex. Is that going to oh, well? That says ISP on there. And what I've done, what we're going to need is the Olimex. Um, need some jumpers, jumper cables. I already happen to have them. USB. And then you also need to find out what chip that you are programming. Like on here, I have got the ATM, AT Mega 644P. Um, and then you also need the data, go on the data sheet and have a look at the pinout. Because what you want to look for are these. Because I think, what is it? Mo Mozzie, Missile, SCK, Reset, Voltage, and Ground. I think it's up one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, that's what I want. Because they will, they go to the ISP pins. And what I did is I used my continuity checker and I've worked out what's what. There we are, so you can see, res reset, uh, yeah, well, blah, 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 you can see. I just want to jump in and say, you don't need to do continuity. If you go and find the schematic for whatever you're, for the, the thing that you're doing, it should have the pin out there ready. So that's your quick way of doing it, quicker way of doing it. See that. Right, and Sasha on the forum, find, um, kindly sent me this which is the the pin out of of the um of the Olimex from the ICSP10 which is um who can we see the one on the opposite side which has got eight bit is it no sorry two four six eight sorry ten pins oh yeah obviously it says they're on there and 10 pins but what, what we want are the six so we've got one two three four five and then obviously and then one to ground so we've got mozzie reset sck mizo voltage ground so that's six there so we're going to want to connect the headers to them and across to them and also before that, on here, on the Olimex, where is it? It's on the back side. If you look on the, the legend there, if we can get that zoom, we've got target on or off, and then we've got V5 at 5 volts or 3.3 volts. So your middle pin of both of them is your, uh, is, is the one that you want to keep on all the time. So, like on here, I've got it. So, if you look, you can see that there. So, I'm on the left one and the middle one, which means on, on the top one. And on the bottom one, I'm on the middle one and the right one, which comes out at 3.3 volts. This has been... I don't know why it will be 3.3 over 5 volts. I'll have to ask on the forum... Um, but I'll try and put a note onto this. I'm going to put this on YouTube or whatever. So I can put a note underneath as if I can find out a reason or whatever. Jumping in again. Completely obvious. It says it. Look. I've said in the last bit, tiny bit wrong. It should be five volts. Look. It says to connect five and ground. Yup. Um, one other thing I will say is that when I came to um, put in um, what's it called at Mel Studio on when I come to put load the, this onto my computer I tried to use the the software download version rather than downloading the actual EXE to my computer and it kept bombing out I think you better just get in the actual download rather than it do, doing it via the internet so when you come into here, we want to go into 
tools, device programming, and then in here, oh, it's not, I've not plugged it in yet. So, what I want to do now is plug in the USB for the Olimex. It should, there we go, we'll get, get the dudding. Right, so what I've done now is I've connected all the pins, the corresponding pins together on the ISP on the board and on the Olimex. Uh, after, you know, in the way that I've worked out from doing continuity between the pins on the ISP pins and on uh, the chip, I mean to the chip, right? So once you've got it going and you've got the program up and you went through what I said before, you can click on um, here to get what the IS, get the Olimex, the right chip there, click apply and it will pop up. And what you might have to wait a second, and then you can click read, and it'll come up with the voltage, and you can and you click read here, and it'll come up with the device signature. And I'm guessing that's what means it's it's talking to it now. And you can see the the um, the screen on the on the powered anyway, and it's saying on here reading device ID. Okay, so that's cool. So now I need to get to the next stage carrying on from where we were next bit we want to go to memories yeah memories and we want to get our hex should most things there's already pre compiled hex somewhere on the internet grab that don't bother compiling stuff unless you really have to um, so I want module tester yeah. Open. Um and I would guess we just press it here. It's all pretty straightforward, like I I've, I've done other other bits and bobs before, like pick chips and um what do you call them now? Tinksies. Um it's just knowing where to look for the right buttons. It's, it's simple enough though, isn't it? Oh, it's doing some flashing, so that's, that's good. The bar is going across. Erasing data, okay. Programming flash, okay. Verifying flash, okay. Right. Now, I know on this one, I don't know if this is for all of them, you've got a set of fuses. So, I'm not sure about this now. I'm probably going to have to disappear again. Right, so back again. So, um, the last thing we did was... Uh, where's it gone? We're in memories. And we just flashed the hex. So we went down to fuses, and I've never done this before. And I was asking, I was asking on the forum, and I'm trying to get this done before I go to bed. So but I wanted to have a go. So I, uh, nobody's replied yet. But what I did notice is that I went on the module tester page where it comes from on the Mutable website. So I would assume. And I, and no, and I found the information there under firmware, so I would assume that this is the same for all the other ones that you've got to do this do this to. It's information provided to you from the the people who came up with it. I, I'm just somebody bumbling along. So if you go on to here, you've got e fuse. So I'm gonna copy that. And go back on to here, so I would assume that that's that E extended first O X F D, and then we are H fuse O X D four H R yep high O X D 
D4. And L fuse, so that'll be low, won't it? So, FF. So, I would assume now, next thing to do, program settings to device. The following fuses can make, may cause device issues with the device. Well, I want, I want this, so continue. So what did we go through? Operation. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, it's right. So it's verifying. Is that verifying or is it verified? Verify registers. Okay. So I think we're done. I might be back. And that seems to do it, so I think we know what we're doing now to some extent. I'll put I'm gonna put that together and um Yeah, I'm, I hope this is helpful to somebody. Um I'll I'll add any um edits in and I'll add any questions at the bottom and I'll try and find out. Um Yeah, thanks. Ta -ra.